I thought that said spandex for a moment. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. I know I've heard uh, articles talking about a hammer chart pattern before. Selling pressure may be coming to an end soon. Has it been struggling? What does the chart look like? Yeah, it's been struggling since March. Old company. Almost back to its... Oh. Uh, no, it was lower in 2019. Almost back to its almost back to its highs. What is a hammer chart pattern? A hammer chart pattern is proper technical indicator used. Blah 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 blah. When the stock tumbles during the day, but then finds strength at some point in the session to close near or above its opening price. This forms a candlestick that resembles a hammer, and it can suggest that the market has found a low point in the stock, and that better days are ahead. Uh, yes, I know what it's talking about. I've seen something like that many times. It could also be a dead cat bounce, which is when something goes up only to fall tragically again. Plus, earnings ever rising for the company. Hmm. Two estimates have gone higher compared to none lower. Interesting. I do like this. Regularly beats estimates despite them going up all the time. This is also nice. Uh this is this is another one where some context to these quarterly increases will be nice. Which I don't have. But I'm guessing that it's so, you know, just based on this, I'm guessing it's getting back to where it was. So if I was to go... So these being kind of in line with each other, I'm guessing that this is the case where you have... Um, like, this is the top... This is the top, of, or maybe like down here-ish, or... Well, I... Ah, oh, jeez. I need to draw all this stuff out. Um... All right, yeah, you know what? I'll I'll get to that once 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 the timer's up. Um, sells various products and services for commercial and industrial markets. It's very vague. Electronics, engraving, scientific, uh, engineering technologies. Oh, they make a lot of stuff. Make just a myriad of things. They are spinning off pieces, though. Divestiture of Engenetics Corporation. Okay. Really? For only 11 million? It seems low. That seems low for a company with this market. That means everything else together is is worth. Um, um, um I wonder if that's what started to cause this plateauing. Because yeah, that would that would take out roughly the amount of market cap that added to the company if it's if it's if if they truly valued it at eleven at eleven million. I mean, a little more even. Maybe the investors value that portion of the company a little more. But like, that's when, when did that when did that happen? What's the date on this? April first. Okay, it was a little earlier that it, um, well, maybe it was earlier. Hold on. Oh, it does have a dividend. I didn't notice that.
when did it like announce announce it march 31st okay yeah end of march so that can't really account for that Okay. Uh So let me let me let me let me bring over the the drawing the drawing board again. Hold on. Let me bring over the drawing board and I can try to explain what I want to explain and why I'm thinking what I'm thinking. So with the other company that I wanted more context to those recent earnings I don't remember what I don't remember what the yearly numbers look like, but for this one, the yearly numbers were pretty much flat, right? So to say that let me draw this chart again. This is 17, 2018, 2019, 20. Uh, oops, I screwed that up. 2020. Okay. So let's assume that you have roughly flat quarterly earnings all the way through the start of 2020, right? Now, if I was concerned that the earnings through 2020 look like this, and thus that increase that I'm seeing is basically only them getting back to their regular state of affairs, that doesn't really fit. That doesn't, that doesn't really make sense because if this, if, if, if this, if these numbers here, A, equal B, equal C, equal D, that, that doesn't mathematically work because look, you're missing half of this. You're missing the other half of this bar. You're missing the other, I don't know, third of this bar. You're missing the other quarter of this bar. That doesn't make, that doesn't make sense. How can this equal this equal this and then equal this? So what I'm thinking... Is that... This climb is actually past this line. Uh, no, actually, hold on. Let me go back a little more. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is that these numbers are actually more like this. To the point where you can chop off that, the top of this one to where you equal it to this level, put it on top of here. Chop off the top of this one to where it equals this level again, put it on top of here. And look, suddenly you have a chart that looks exactly like the previous years. This should sh this is almost like uh, demonstrating rules of displacement, rules of water displacement. I have just shown that it isn't just getting back to the levels where it was prior to these, you know, these quarters where it may have just been flat. Now, I don't know if these quarters are flat. I'm actually making an assumption here. Um, an assumption that may or may not be right. I'm kind of, I have no evidence for this. Uh, the only evidence that I have for this is that back in 2017, 2018, 2019, the world was, the world was normal. The world was normal, so there was no really justification to say, oh, well, 2017 looked like this. And then 2018 looked like this. And then 2019 looked like this. It's like, what's your, what's your justification for that? You, you, you have none. Um... So, so that's kind of why I'm making the assumption that this has been basically flat. And if that's the case, and this equals this equals this equals this, and this has a steady rise, this last one mathematically has to be higher than all of these ones prior. This, this, this little difference here. 
which probably isn't all that little. I mean, I don't, I don't know the exact math, but it probably isn't all that little. So that's why I think this one has actually gotten, has actually grown to levels higher to where it was. Now, does that mean it's a buy? I, 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 I don't know. But I am less wary of this one than the other one because of, because of these reasons, which I hopefully make sense and I have just shown somewhat, somewhat mat mathematically. I feel like I'm just, just um, saying random words, but I, I, what, I'm, what I'm trying to explain makes sense, I think. So, do not want to say this work of art. Terribly sorry. Uh, so th for that, for those for those reasons, I am willing. Uh, do I want to give this a buy? I kind of do. I kind of do. But that's on the assumption that that large bar that that chart that I just drew ended in can continue being large or larger. And it's not going to, you know, it's not experiencing a sudden bump because the economy's on fire and everyone's coming out of COVID. But rather, it can keep, it can keep doing that into the future. So, you know what, I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this a buy for, for that and all of my drawing art reasons. So, should have gone to art school. Pretty good, right? Got those sick MS Paint skills.